On this decor video, I'm going to show you how to install these cool shelves and make them and there is no tools required. show you how I made these extra shelves and storage for here in the bathroom. I think this is going to be a great addition just because Bill loves leaving his medicine out on the counter and different things. He wants to visually see it so he doesn't want me to put it inside the cabinet. So I, I looked and looked and looked at this cabinet and I thought hey, there's got to be a way I can add some shelves on each side. So I made these cute little shelves. I think it was like $12 probably, and I'll uh, put on here exactly how much. It was like $12 to make these. And all I did is I got, these were little boxes that had lids on them, which I took the lids off, that I had got at the Dollar Tree, and they were a dollar when I bought these. I know that everything's going up to $1.25. I think she said that mid-January they were going up, but I had purchased these prior to that. So these were a dollar. And then I got, this is just some balsa wood that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby. And it was either $2.69 or $3.69. I can't remember each of those. And I didn't have to cut them down or anything because they fit here perfect. And originally, I kind of wanted to do like a, a round shelf because I thought that would look better, but I could not find any without having to cut them and I didn't want to cut them because I wanted this to be an easy project that y'all could do and no tools required. I ended up finding these and making this work. What I did is I, I determined where I wanted these to be because they need to match on each side. Well, they don't have to match. You could do them staggered, but me, I'm a a matchy matchy person so they 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 have to match they have to be aligned so I just laid the two pieces of wood down and then I put some e6000 on the back of this and then I put hot glue and I pushed it on there now the hot glue is not what's holding this it's the e6000 the hot glue just holds it there until the e6000 has time to cure I put these on so I let them sit overnight and then I came back the next morning and I stained everything. And I stained it, I believe it was special walnut. I'll put on here what it is. I stained them and you've got to make sure you get all the nooks and crannies because I'm gonna have to make sure this one's on that side because, uh, yeah, this one, <laughs> I missed like a little corner in there. But it is what it is. So I don't have any stain here with me. There's a lot of different ways that you could put this up, attach this. Um, you could screw it on. You could put a screw in here, screw it on. I really wanted to do nano tape, but I am totally out of nano tape. So I'm going to end up using the command strips, which will work. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you a disclaimer on this. I know that this is fake wood. Or well, it has like a picture. This is like paper wood look this will pull this off. I have had that happen a few times. So if you're worried that maybe you might take this off later, there's really nothing that you could use that's not going to peel this off. I understand and that's the, the chance that I want to take, but I just want you to know that up front. I know I want one at the top and I know I want one at the bottom and I really almost feel like I need one here and here just so that this doesn't flex. I think if I did it in the middle, it would be okay, but I'm going to put four on here just to be safe. And we're going to stick these up here real quick. But this piece of balsa wood, if I'll put on the screen what size I got, it pop. there's like a little lip on here, and it literally pops in behind that lip, and then it just snaps. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> these are so tight fitting. Other than the fact that it just kind of wiggles just a little bit, you literally, I feel like, could put these in there and just pop these in. And uh, I think you could probably not put any command strip on here and they would be good. But I do want to put the command strips on mine 
just so that when you're going down the road and stuff, they don't fall off. But look how good these are in there. I mean, what? They're in there pretty good. All right, let me put some command strips on here. Then we'll stick this one on and then we'll go over and do the, I did two, I did one on each side. And this one is the one that goes on that side. This is the one that I'm missing a little bit of the inside on. So to, how I put my command strips on is I peel them apart and then I go ahead and stick them together. And then I peel off the one side that I'm gonna have against this and then I stick it on there real good. And then I just repeat that process. All right, I have all of these on there. They're all pressed on there really well. I'm gonna peel this off and then we're going to go ahead and install it. Like I said, I would love to have some nano tape and be able to put it in between each of these and do both. It would make such a big difference. But I didn't realize I didn't have any and I wanna go ahead and get these up. All right. So I wanna make sure that it's flush at the bottom and then I make sure that it's inside that little lip that I want. And then I push this in. That is in. I'm gonna do the other side real quick. And just like that, I have extra storage in my RV, 12 or $13. And I really think I'm gonna utilize these a lot because like I said, Bill loves to see his stuff out so I can put it all up here. Okay. I can just put this medicine up there. He can see it but yet it's off of the counter and I don't have to worry about fumbling around with it. And then we can put our deodorant or anything else that we want up here. This is our hunting deodorant, but you could put anything you need up there at extra storage. I love how these things turned out. They look great. Now they made this wood actually longer and I could have cut it. But again, I was trying not to do any cuts or anything. Because I have the little clothesline thing up here, I couldn't do another shelf, so it did not bother me that these did not go all the way to the top. This depth-wise is right at four inches, and these pieces from Hobby Lobby fit right in behind this lip on our cabinet, and we do have a Grand Design 2018-337. And then I feel like I couldn't have matched the stain any better, also, just so you know, we do have the rounded edge over here, but these boxes are just small enough that they just barely start to hit that curve so they don't affect anything. If you like how my bathroom looks, I have a video that I talk about how I decorated and the organization in our bathroom. I'm excited how these shelves turned out, and I hope that you like this video. Till next time, like and subscribe.